G'day, Lockie here. Something that I've been really excited about showing um, recently is about tying in your Kubernetes RBAC, so your role-based access control to Azure Active Directory. Now it turns out that there's actually a pull request out there, so this is PR 43987, um, with the code changes required to do that. Now for those who want to follow along at home, the whole demo um, is listed in the readme here, so if you'd like to pull up this PR, grab the readme, you'll be able to recreate exactly what I've done. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. Now as, a, as I mentioned, there's a PR that's unmerged, so I've actually checked out that PR locally and built Kubernetes locally. Um, so just to prove what I have here, I'm going to be running kubectl um, off the build, which is off 1.7 alpha 2. Um, and the server side is 162, so if I do a kubectl get nodes, this is just so that I can illustrate the functionality that will drop um, when, if and when that um, PR gets merged. Now, one thing, full disclosure, I work for Microsoft, but still this demo was too, too good to, give, uh, to pass up on, so I wanted to just get in and show you how it works. Um, I'm going to pop over to the window down the bottom here. Um, this is actually a terminal uh, session that I have on the master. I want to show you that there's no real magic behind here and we're going to just show you the manifest for Cube API server. And as mentioned in that documentation, you can go along here and follow yourself, but we're setting up an o OIDC um, and there are some details here to set up the applications and get that provisioned. Um, and one thing we're doing is looking up the claim. So inside that JWT, there'll be um, a, a UPN there so that I can pin it to my email address. Um, and I have RBAC on. So that's about all you need to know server side. One last thing here is I want to just show you, I'm going to create a read-only account for myself. So you can see I'm going to map my um, email address to the cluster role called view. Um, so that you can see that I have the, that um, access role. So I'm going to do a create on that, kubectl create, uh, lucky read only yaml. Okay, so that has been created. I do a kubectl get uh, cluster role bindings. Yay, good one to type. Almost as hard as third party resources. Uh, so you can see that you've got this read only role there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to run a kubectl get pods. And I'm going to use that user, um, actually, before I forget, I just want to show you before I log in what my kubeconfig looks like. So in the kubeconfig, I've actually defined a user, which is my email address, um, the API server. So these are actually, if you walk through that um, readme, I'm provisioning applications that have IDs, and I'm just putting those app IDs in here so that it can actually identify on Azure Active Directory that you have access to Authenticate. Here, so app server ID, client ID, and tenant ID. These are all things that you can attain, um, and that's all I'm doing. So I'm going to go pin it to this user, which I was not doing before. So I'm saying use the user lachlan.evenson at microsoft.com. So I'm going to ask it to get me co pods. And no auth provider for name Azure. Do, 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 do. What have I done here? You know what I've done? I have not referenced the local one that I built after all that. So let's go ahead and do that. My, my apologies here. Now just so that you remember I've built this from source. It is not upstreamed at the moment so I'm actually using a kubectl locally. My apologies. So it says to me here, uh, use a web browser, go to this and put that code in. So I'm going to go ahead and follow these instructions. Um, put that code in, yay, and link it to my Microsoft account, and this should return, and I can actually see things. So let me um, cube, before I forget, cube cuddle create, um, how about I just do a run, and I'm going to say run busybox with the image busybox. And of course that's going to work, just to show you that I'm not using with the user. Um, and I'm going to create another busy box called user is Lachlan.Evenson. So this is the user that should have read-only access. I cannot do that. I get a forbidden back that this user cannot create deployments in the namespace default. So fantastic. 
I've authenticated, I've gone through, uh, I've got the challenge response, I have a token locally, and now using my user Lachlan Evenson, I cannot create a deployment. And that is because I have a read-only cl cluster role binding. I can probably not do other things here, so let me have a look. And what I'm going to do, uh, get nodes, which I believe needs more access. So I cannot list all the nodes at the cluster scope get nodes. Okay, so pop back over to um, the server here, server side here. I'm going to just nuke this read only role. Cube cuddle delete role binding, um, lock one read only. And I'm going to do a create on the admin user. So I, again, I have another cluster role binding. I've deleted the read only role binding. And now, if you have a look, I should have Lachlan Evenson, my email address user, bound as cluster admin. I'm going to go back and run that busybox command in this top window here again, this top terminal, and I should be able to do that. Fantastic. So I've created busybox2. Um, I should be able to delete it because it, my user has a cluster admin role binding now, so I should be able to do anything uh, I like with this particular user. Delete. Deploy uh, busy box two. Fantastic. So that's about all there is to it. Um, I'm excited. Hopefully, this PR gets merged so you all can start taking advantage of hooking in uh, Azure Active Directory and all your corporate resources in there into uh, Kubernetes and have some meaningful RBAC. Uh, that's all I wanted to show. Uh, thanks for joining. Cheers.